Yeah, Jimmy Webb was spotting me. I fucking chuffed it in front of Jimmy. It felt really bad. So we're leaving Squamish today. We did some stuff though. It was a good time. What did we do? Day one, we went to the a apron? Apron boulders. Yeah. The snake pit? And we did nothing. Snake no, you got snake pit. Snake pit. Oh yeah, snake pit. Me five. Got snake Slab. pit, it was dope. Snake pit. Check. And that was it, that was all we did, the apron boulders. Yeah, got Ooh. shut down. Then we went to our teenage bottom, we shut down. Yeah, Teenage of the Bottom was rough. We'll be back for it. And at the end of the day, we met up with Alan and George. Met some, uh, some cool, cool dudes. fans, I guess. Drank some beers. Now they're just our friends. Now they're just friends. Yeah, it's a good time. Shout out to you, Alan and George. Shout out to you. Yeah. Right? P-Dub Lifetime Achievement Award. We did that one. Yep. And that was it. We got shut down by everything else. Yep. It wasn't Black Bike or Bikes. Where was it? Not Titanic either. Oh, by the, the swing? Stretch? Mm hmm Swing stretch, top 100. Swing stretch, that thing was sick. <laughs> swing stretch was dope. Two thumbs up on that one. <laughs> the track killer? Mm hmm Top 100 for sure. Mm hmm And we did Heartbreak Hotel. That was another really good one. Sick. Top 100. Which is where I've had with Alan. And yeah. Alan and George. Yeah. Alan showed us all that stuff. Yeah, Alan was a homie. Oh, a serious mine. homie. Then we went down to um, do the big slab, fat slab. Fat slab, right? We went to the black dike. We went to the fat slab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we went to the black dike area, and we did summer, summer vacation. vacation. Summer vacation. That's right. And you got that was cool, but. It was easy. Super easy, super fun. So. And a green gable. That's what you got. That's five. And a green gable. Uh -huh. yeah. At the burial grounds, we did Tyler's Dihedral. That was sweet. Yeah. Super sweet V3. I love that thing. Great finish. And then the rest of that boulder was dirty, mossy. So we went to the clean area. And there was a lot of mosquitoes. Oh yeah. So many mosquitoes. And we tried too many mosquitoes. We tried Kung Fu Fighter and that shut us down. Mm-hmm. So I'm not checking that off. I almost checked it off because we tried it so many times. Didn't do it. Mm, fell. But we did do close shave. Yeah, which was pretty dope. I, I liked it a lot. It was hard in the heat, but it went down. And uh, that was it. We didn't really climb very much. We tried to get a taste of a lot of stuff. I thought we, we climbed a lot. My my body is sore and my fingers. My are body is raw. super sore. I like that uh, you did close shave. That was like a year in the day project and you have a scratch on your cheek. Came out to uh, Squamish for the first time ever. And uh, then we came across this thing which Jake is doing currently. It's called uh, the Detached Flake. It's a V1. Did it. Whoa. I wonder how much deep water soloing there is here. That looks not deep. It looks like kind of over there, though. That looks deep. I love all these power lines, they really add to the aesthetic. Mm. 
notice. Overnight parking is prohibited. Registration required. 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Vehicles not displaying a valid permit will be towed. Bathrooms. That way. We have no traffic only be on this point. Damn, there's a lot of people right there. Yeah. Jesus Christ. All hanging out. Is this walking camp starts right up? Oh. So this is like Yosemite. It's like there's just a million people everywhere, all the time. Well, it's a Sunday, so we don't know. We could all be gone tomorrow. Uh, it seems it's unlikely. The These people have a bunch of their clothes out. Yeah, those people aren't planning to leave soon. Tents everywhere. Well, we can go 20 minutes north to the other campsites if we really need. Yeah, I wonder if that'll be a zoo as well. Crazy. Look at all those people. Oh my goodness. Let's go back to Levy. Made it to a campsite. It was very, very busy everywhere. But we found one. Luckily. Don't know how that worked out, but it did. Um, so now we're trying to find out if we can collect firewood legally and make a fire. Because we forgot firewood. This says designated for use purposes. You can collect firewood. There's something. Gonna get a gonna get just landed in Vancouver. Gonna get a here. rental car and drive up. Oh, they were road tripping. Me too. They flew here. They're gonna fly with two tents. Oh, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot to to fly. We are gonna go to Chief Camp, I think, and just camp there for the duration. <laughs> Good luck. For a truly Canadian morning, wake up with Tim Hortons. Forgot to bring coffee, so we went to Tim Hortons to get some coffee, like true Canadians. Um, now we're gonna go to the apron boulders and climb some stuff and maybe meet these people. Um, Alan and his friend. Alan! How do I Don't left turn drink right. this? There's no there's no hole. I know, dude. It took me like two seconds to figure it out. Oh I see a pop 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 that. Pop this up. Left turn here either. Okay, well, day one we're gonna go to the apron boulders because all I really want to do is teenage lobotomy it looks so cool. We're gonna meet Alan there some point. Uh, this place is really busy so there's no parking in the main parking so we parked here. Maybe if we were up earlier, I don't, I don't know. I've seen a lot of pictures and videos of Squamish and it always looks like this serene magical forest with these boulders and this giant wall. Can you hear me? Probably not because this is the reality. We're like eight feet from a highway. Another instance of social media illusion with Squamish pictures and videos. Nobody ever talks about the highway that's two feet from the path. Like, it's so loud. The highway noise is crazy. We're gonna see if the boulders are worth it.
that big pad left. Way to the edge. Please. Okay. Quickly. Well, I'm pulling. Please. Okay. Oh my god! That was so hard! <laughs> Get it! Woo! All I can think of is like, if that's B5 slab, what's the top of evolution? B7 slab? I gotta do something harder than that? Can't be. Maybe it's just because it's hot out. That was hard though. So many, like the beta, the chalking beta, is all about like when I chalked up and what feet to use. Woo! That was sick. Okay, this is day two. We uh, got some coffee at Tim Hortons and then gonna meet Alan and George today. And uh, Jake looked in the book to figure out where we were supposed to go and he started leading us there and then he said, wait, turn around. I don't think we're going the right way. So we turned around and went a different way for a while and then he realized, oh wait, we were going the right way in the first place. And now we're just sort of wandering through the forest to try to find these guys. But there's like a little trail here. See? So it's not so bad. But we are lost. And now... Oh, Jesus. It was fun to get under those trees. It was fucking terrible. <laughs> I crawled on my hands and knees. <laughs> <sighs> How lost are we? Not lost. It's right stuff there. right there. We just gotta follow this. Right over that way, huh? Yep. I mean, I have no idea. I've never been here before. I know. Don't get mad at me. Yeah. I'm just None a documentarian. Motherfucking mosquito. Where? Is this near your video? No, sorry. That's, that's I've never been here before. I meant... I don't know where we are. <laughs> what? You don't? I didn't the, see that. Yes, the Grand Wall. Titanic area is the first place we come across. Campground Trail, that's what we're on right now. We just gotta keep going. This is the campground trail, huh? I don't know. I don't know. I know you don't know, but I like your air of confidence, Jake. 
I know you're so mad right now, but or are we it's just fun. I'm having a great time. Nice, dude. You got it. You got it. Look at that boulder. Holy shit. That is so cool. Those friendly British folk said they said did the same thing we did, which was go that way and go completely the wrong way. Because in the in the book it looks like you have to be on that end of the parking lot, but actually you have to be on this end of the parking lot. If you read it, it says north end, but if you look at the picture, it looks like the south end. So anyway, they said go down here, and then go that way. I think the trail's like right there. Where are the ladies? They're coming. Hey, friends, have the ropes with us? Yeah, they prefer ropes. They, well, they actually like the boulder. It's a person! Oh my god, sir! Can you help us? They've been lost here for days! We made it! <laughs> nice boulder field. We found him. All right, here's some pecans in case of getting lost again. Good. <laughs> I taught at this different school. Yeah. I I heard, yeah. We finally found our friends. Hopefully we go find something with holds. That'd be nice. Yesterday, no holds. Except for that B3. Oh, yeah, that's so hopefully we find some holds. I just want to hit this super classic B6 club lounge act. Oh, it's perfect. It's like crimpy. It's nice, kind of vertical, it's so bouncy. Is that right, right behind it is a steep little one called Swank Stretch. It's a B5. Cool. Hell yes. Let's do oh, it. Yeah. Brown wall. Oh yeah. This is a top uh, 100 high ball summer vacation right here, V0. Super cruiser. Um, yeah, there's a V4 skin graft. Yeah, Jimmy Webb. He was uh, he was spotting me. I fucking chuffed it in front of Jimmy. It was, it was, it was one of my worst. <laughs> worst thing that ever happened. Maybe even worse than the broken heel. I'm not sure, but oh my God. felt really bad. Oh, maybe I'll come oh. back and put it for Jimmy. Oh my god, him. dude. Oh, you're gonna have to. Yeah, dude. Definitely yeah, send it to him. I was talking to him like, yo, what are you uh, working on? It's just kind of cool in the forest. And he was kind of modest about it. He's like, oh, I don't know. Da -da 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 -da. And then he sent Dreamcatcher, yeah, a few days later. It was pretty, pretty sick, yeah. Pretty good story. Yeah, there's a sloppy coffee at top of It's like a climber's playground. It's like an amusement park. Definitely, this is the most well-built climbing area I've ever been to. It's crazy. Use your, you use this? No, I know. Left hand where your right hand. So bad. Left hand where your right hand is. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you could have gone straight up, dude. 
to here. Yeah. And it felt like it was kind of close. I mean, I got to here, static, so I could have thrown to it. So I need to go right then left. And to the right is super good as well, Kyle. Yeah, like a... What? To the right of that right jug. What way out there? Oh, from this? The right to the right. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, yeah, right there. That's just so good, all of it. They got right. What? Left hand cross above your head. Uh, what? Yeah. I think you're the only one that crossed. <laughs> I think most people bump right. Huh. And like I could have had my left hand higher up in that. For sure. Like an inch or two higher. Yeah. But it was really good here. I don't want to go to this. But looks like there's a few few ways. Yeah. Uh, or to this. Uh, I could have thrown to this. This one's just not really for me. You guys are doing it different ways. Did anybody throw to this? Big no. just from from here. Usually people throw to the bottom rail and then uh, bump up. But alright, sweet. That was amazing. Definitely didn't want to cross though. That seemed way hard. It was good. I guess I needed to engage my heel a lot more if I was trying to do the cross. Or cut feet completely. Or cut feet yeah. completely, yeah. But I like the bump because that holds good. The right hand's good. So you can bump it, cut feet, you're fine. Definitely sweet. I'm glad I did grab this because this is way better than that. <laughs> Called the Heartbreak Hotel. At least that's what they told me. Starts here? Start here? My fingertips hurt. No more. I got it.
Penthouse? Oh yeah. Right. Don't stop. I hope my key card works. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> 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 Holy fuck! <laughs> What's it look like? One day. One day. How? Do I do that? I don't know. That's really high. That's not as good as I was hoping. That might work. How much is the red is that? Is that the right? What do you guys say? Oh, that's yeah. what they said to avoid grabbing. Ah. Oh. Really? No, the other guys used that, but like, you know. That. Yeah. I mean, it felt like it was just exactly what I wanted at that moment. Made the top really easy. Didn't feel right. It's an eliminate? That's lame. I mean, it's climbing. Huh?
Yeah, but if it specifically says avoid the a ret, uh, definitely didn't wasn't satisfied sending that. Felt like I cheated. I don't know. I guess I'll climb it again. See if I can do it without using that. Aha, no ret. Eat it, fat slab. What you got next, huh? When I hit that ret at the first time, I was like, this is so good. Like, I was pretty confident just standing there, you know? And then that time, I just put my feet on nothing and stood up because it's like super shallow at the top. Dope. Hell yeah. Way out left. You gotta get your feet up a little more. Yeah, way up there. Just get your, get your feet a little higher and then just go big up left. You got it. Yeah, super good. Straight up. Uh, or like get your feet out right to your right. On that ledge there. To your like yeah, directly like yeah there. Rock up. Here you go. Woo! Hear it in my ear. This is the worst sound in the world is a bug flying in your ear. This is a V3 here called Tyler's Dihedral. Tyler's Dihedral. There's also a V1 on the Arete. Yeah, look at this. Uh, this is Tyler's Dihedral here, which is right there. And then next to it is the casket and someone's Arete. Which, uh, if you can see... It's really dirty. This whole thing, in the picture, this whole thing is completely clean. But, in reality, it's just covered in moss. I guess it doesn't see very many ascents, huh? I feel like that's a... 
pretty consistent thing here in Squamish. It is. I think it's because the moss grows back every year, and if nobody climbs this for two years, it's just toast. I mean, we have a big brush, but look at this snail right here. Oh, really? Yeah. It's just moss. The slopers at the top, I was scared. I wonder if there's an easy way to do that last. Like, mantle that top out was sick, honestly. It's like a campus move. There's so many ticks up here. Ticks? No, tick marks. Oh. Ticks. <laughs> there's bugs everywhere. <laughs> right out of this forest. First move on this route is amazing. Not that part, this part. Oh. But the rest of it we just fell on over and over again. <laughs> I'm just falling like... It's so bad, it doesn't help me at all. Settle for second place. Uh, that White gold. Travels. Oh, cool. I like it. Oh. I like those uh, little uh, minimalistic ones. Yeah, people have. Uh, I don't know about that. It's pretty high up there. Damn, that's hard. Close. Yeah, that felt about as close as the first time. Yeah. Small. Not close enough. Right when the sloper gets right in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> that looks really bad. Yeah, you gotta go to the left hand. Yeah. Okay. Ah! God damn it.
Oh, I did it! Holy shit! Fuck yeah! Oh. Yes! Yes! Mm, let's fucking go! Oh. Oh, figured it out. Oh. I mean, it's like basically one move. This is fun though. It's fun, satisfying. Man, that sloper's bad. There's a good spot on it though. Very top, with your right hand, just on the divot. And then you go left hand high on the lower spot. Knee in first, pull in slow. Until you can just static up, reach it, left hand, boom. And then the rest is easy. Nice. Let's go. What's that called? Uh, oh. I gotta get off. I'm, do I'm like, my leg's killing me. About to fall and die. Uh. Favorite route? Still, teenage lobotomy, even though I didn't do it. I like snake. Okay. That's my favorite. <laughs> Swing shredding was really fun. Meeting Alan and George was my favorite. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Those guys were fun. It was a good time. We'll be back. Yeah, it's promise. Sure. Interesting place. First time? Place. First time here. Won't be the last. We camped up at the Chequemus Campground, which is free camping about 20 minutes north of Squamish. A little far away, but free, and that's cool. And there's boulders there, so next time we come, we're gonna probably try them and camp in the same spot. It was cool, cool campground. We'll definitely be back here eventually. There's lots of stuff for us to climb in our backyard, but we'll be back here. It's kind of like a, like a climber's playground. Very, very well established very populated. It's interesting, it's different, very different. You don't get any moment of just forest sounds, there's always highway sounds, pretty much. It's weird. It is beautiful, it's got that beautiful wall, but looking down on everything. 